Hi folks. Last year I came to you with a video explaining that, contrary to popular belief, the Marcellus shale industry is actually taxed. I debunked the myths propagated by opportunistic politicians and environmental extremists, many of whom purposely mislead the public into thinking the industry pays no taxes at all, or that it doesn't pay its fair share. Their rhetoric couldn't be more false, and given dramatic changes in the energy marketplace since 2014, is potentially a major threat to Pennsylvania's economic stability. Since my last report, OPEC has flooded the market with petroleum, driving down prices to lows that haven't been seen in decades. This has had a ripple effect across the energy sector, particularly impacting natural gas. While low prices have helped consumers with lower heating bills, it has devastated the production side of the industry. In fact, the Marcellus shale industry is currently shrinking. In 2011, there were 111 active natural gas rigs in Pennsylvania. Today, that number has fallen to just 17, a decrease of 85% in only five years. Three companies that I know of have shut down operations and pulled out of western Pennsylvania completely. Up until recently, the industry invested over $35 billion in our state. Currently, more than $10 billion in investment in our state has been halted because of the threat of a severance tax being added on top of all the already poor market. In addition, the loss of construction jobs is crippling. Most people are unaware that drilling requires great investment at considerable risk. Think of every well as a nearly $7 million construction project, boosting a local economy while adding revenue to neighboring municipalities and businesses in a number of ways. Friends, this should concern all of us. When Pennsylvania began emerging from the Great Recession, the natural gas industry led the way in our recovery. During that time, jobs created from the Marcellus shale industry accounted for 90% of the new jobs. Some 240,000 direct and indirect jobs helped reduce our unemployment from 8.2% just a few years ago to a low of 5.1%. The rate is now bumped back up to 5.3%. Without the jobs resulting from Marcellus shale, our economy would be in even worse condition. That's because more workers mean more revenues for the state and more money in the pockets of Pennsylvanians. During these trying economic times for the industry, however, there has been a loss of 10% of the jobs nationwide created by the natural gas industry. What does this have to do with taxation? Everything. Marcellus-related jobs pay good, family-sustaining wages. We should be doing everything to help the energy sector grow and expand in our state. Homegrown Pennsylvania natural gas burns clean, reducing air pollution. Its local availability is attractive to businesses of all stripes, a number of which specifically located here to tap into this affordable energy supply. Low-priced, abundant natural gas has the potential to entice manufacturers to return to the Commonwealth, which would create thousands more jobs in various industries, such as petrochemicals and pharmaceuticals. It could also revolutionize the transportation industry if we incentivize buses, trucks, and other vehicles to switch to clean, affordable Pennsylvania natural gas. Right now, Pennsylvania supplies about 20% of the United States demand for natural gas. We are poised to drive that figure much higher. Our hope is to continue expanding the demand, attracting manufacturing and other businesses to the Commonwealth. We currently export our state's natural gas to Canada and Pennsylvania could become the supplier for all the Northeast. We do not want to drive this important industry away through oppressive taxes like those proposed by the governor. We know that the more you tax something, the less of it you get. And if Governor Wolf gets his way, we're liable to be extracting no natural gas at all in our state. And gone with the drilling would be thousands of decent paying jobs, taking with them the tax revenue that they generate for our state's general fund and local communities. This is the time we should be looking for ways to support and expand energy exploration in our state, not tax it out of existence. Governor Tom Wolf and his allies have been working overtime, repeatedly saying that Pennsylvania is the only state with no severance tax. A severance tax is an amount assessed on natural gas as it is extracted from the ground. Let's set the facts straight. No, we don't have a severance tax. We do have, however, an impact fee something that no other state has. This fee generates more than $220 million per year and was crafted to keep Pennsylvania competitive so that we can grow the industry and increase revenue for our local communities. Most citizens are unaware of this fee. 
The rate of the impact fee is equivalent to a tax of 4.68% on natural gas extraction. The fee has garnered more than $856 million since 2012 for local governments and environmental preservation projects across the Commonwealth. Another important difference, unknown to most citizens, is that each well drilled pays the impact fee from the moment it is drilled, even if it is not producing gas. By contrast, a severance tax is assessed on gas actually coming from the well, revenue that could be delayed for years. Additionally, the industry pays every other tax we have in Pennsylvania, such as corporate income tax, the second highest in the nation, by the way, personal income, sales and use, and liquid fuels taxes. Other states with a severance tax don't even have some of the taxes Pennsylvania assesses on their books. All told, these taxes have generated more than $2.1 billion for the Commonwealth since 2008, and that doesn't include the impact fee. Combined, the impact fee and other state taxes have contributed $3 billion to our state coffers. The strength of the impact fee approach is that the funds raised from the impact fee mostly remain in the areas directly impacted by drilling, though a remainder is distributed to all 67 counties. Even areas like Lancaster County, which has no gas drilling, benefit from the fee. But what you don't know is over 40 counties have some level of drilling, and that's a large portion of our state. By contrast, the governor's proposed severance tax would shift most of the money away from local communities and channel the lion's share of it to the general fund. This would subject those dollars to political whims, much like the old casino money that Governor Ed Rendell peddled as a panacea to our spending problems some years ago. I believe, as you do, that funds should stay in the communities that are impacted by drilling. Governor Wolf's newest budget proposal would impose a massive 6.5% severance tax on top of the environmental impact fee and other taxes currently paid by drillers. This would create an effective tax rate on Marcellus Shale extraction of 12.5%, the nation's highest and a certain industry killer. So why is the governor engaging in all of this spin? I think it's pretty clear he wants to wipe out shale gas industry in Pennsylvania. Why would Governor Wolf want to kill the goose that lays the golden egg? In this case, the golden egg being thousands of jobs in the energy sector? Like his counterpart in New York State, Governor Andrew Cuomo, Wolf is advised, supported, and financed by environmental extremists who desire to eradicate all fossil fuels, even clean burning ones like natural gas, which have enormously contributed to higher air quality through our nation and our state. Where Governor Cuomo had the gall to outright ban natural gas exploration by executive order, Governor Wolf has chosen an insidious backdoor approach not wanting to appear directly responsible for putting tens of thousands of Pennsylvanians out of work, Wolf desires to employ class warfare and false messaging to bankrupt drillers with a flurry of suffocating taxation. This governor wants to scapegoat an industry in an effort to divert attention from his enormous spending addiction. As you know, his plan is to tax everything in sight, and he tries to portray the natural gas industry as a villain to win your support. Make no mistake, our budget woes are rooted in overspending, a bloated state pension system, and automatic pay increases negotiated in state contracts are at the heart of our so-called structural deficit. I know that logic and economics are not strong suits of this governor, but rest assured, if we follow through with sound economic principles, subsequent budgets will sustain themselves through an expanding economy, generating solid growth reinforced by clean energy and well-paying jobs. Our goal is to fulfill Pennsylvania's potential and propel it into a world energy leader. All Pennsylvanians benefit from this industry. Wounding or killing it in its infancy demonstrates poor economic understanding and serves nothing except short-term political interests. I hope you will join me by saying no to the governor's wrong-headed proposal to institute a severance tax. Please also view my previous video on this subject for even more details. It can be found under must see videos on my webpage. Until next time, God bless and in God we trust.